it's too far too long yeah. a lot can happen and when you approach the Kenyan politics ag again that is why in the region Kenyan politics is a bit top-notch compared to maybe the politics in the other countries surrounding us you can actually predict a lot of things in the politics for happening in the countries that are surrounding us but it is very difficult to predict uh, on point what is going to happen in the Kenyan politics. Uh, a few months ago we would sit here and it would not be possible for us to conceive that Raila Odinga Baba Jacob, mm -hmm. would be the one saving William Ruto, William Ruto uh, at this point in time. So just like that we cannot authoritatively say here right now that none of that is a possibility. There has to be a small chance of possibility. But there are two men here who now uh, a lot of things depend on how they will play out their politics. That is His Excellency Honorable Kalonzo Musioka and uh, His Excellency the Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa. How they will play their politics will lead us mm -hmm. either to that or completely opposite because you have seen some undertones and and looking at the experience of politics in the country before sometimes it starts like that then it ends up when you see honorable Kalonso talking about you will not impeach Rigadi, we will not accept we will not allow we will save him and all that uh, you might just end up with Rigadi and Kalonzo on one end uh, combining forces to the election, whether as deputy president and presidential candidate. And that will leave William Ruto with an opportunity to look for another deputy president. Mm -hmm. And he is not limited to Mount Kenya. He can go all the way to other places, the, 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 the coastal region and Nyanza, Western, and any other place. Musalia is also here, is a key figure, a key political figure in this whole thing. He is trying to show uh, that character of loyalty which many politicians really desire, that you want to have someone who whose loyalty cannot be questioned, even 1%. Yeah. So uh, what you are saying, I cannot authoritatively say, no, 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 that is not in question. Anything can happen in the politics of Kenya. But right now, those formations will, especially if Baba goes to the AU and gets very busy there, because he will not be able to play his politics the same way he does if he goes to the AU. W would that be the beginning of the end for ODM? If uh, Raila Odinga goes to AU, then come 2027, uh, William Ruto picks a running mate from uh, probably uh, Nyanza. It might not be the end of ODM. Again, the end of ODM will depend on who will take over from Babas. You know, again, uh, Honorable Rail Odinga has also played something here that many people have not talked about yet. Uh, during the time he mentioned that he is ready to go to the AU, uh, we started seeing the camps in ODM, the camp around Joho and the camp around Oparan. The opportunity came when Gen Z's uh, took us to this point. B by that time, the Gen Z's thing was not in eyesight or anywhere. But now that the Gen Z's thing happened, uh, Again, opportunity came, and I do not want to say it is by default that President William Ruto just came and picked on the two deputy party leaders who are already yeah. jostling, who are already jostling for the position of Baba uh, when he goes. So all of them picked and taken to the cabinet. Mm -hmm. So it will depend on who will now become the ultimate party leader of ODM at this time next year when Baba is gone. Mm -hmm. That will depend on that person or that woman or man, whether ODM is dying or ODM becomes even stronger. Okay. So uh, I, I, I want to say that we have to leave a space to stretch our imaginations that it could not, it might not have been coincidence that William Ruto came to just pick the chairman pick the deputy party leaders the minority leader yeah yeah and, and the, the minor, party yeah party. and and then uh, Baba to that could also that could also still, be it is possible it can also be sure. hand of Baba yeah. that all these people jostling because all of them were jostling even Badi was jostling for a senior position more than uh, the party chair Opio Wandai had also said and mentioned I think there was a time Mama Aida was talking about even Opio Wandai so it could it might not be a coincidence that all of them have been swept 
maybe that was the way Baba wanted to reorganize party and say, uh, going forward, all the people who are jostling are out. We are now going to get some other people who are now uh, probably more pro-ODM uh, than just the leadership of ODM.